For centuries, the countries of the Arab Maghreb, Mauritania, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya have been a rich melting pot of Islamic cultures. Uh, today, this region, which sits at the crossroads of Africa, the Middle East, and Europe, is more important than ever. It was the birthplace of the Arab Spring, which started in Tunisia and spread across the region. It's also the hub for tens of thousands of migrants who are making a perilous journey across the Mediterranean in search of a better future. It has a bright and energetic youthful population that's searching for better opportunities. And it's a major center for a conservative Islamist movement called Salafism, which is transforming the region's politics. We wanted to know who are the Salafis. In what way does the movement reflect each country's distinct politics, history, and social makeup? And how will this transnational, ultra-conservative Islamic current shape, you know, these dynamic, complex societies? What we found, I mean, run counter to many stereotypes, often misunderstood as a Saudi militant export. Salafism is, in fact, molded by local contexts and, and opportunities. So we found blurred boundaries between different Salafists. Some were militant jihadists, others were politically active pragmatists, yet others were pro-authoritarian pacifists, known as quietists that are loyal to the states, and they don't participate in elections. Yet they all had one thing in common. I mean, they have up ended Western assumptions about what Salafism or radical Islam looks like today. Our book takes readers inside the heart of the Salafi movement. You'll hear from battle-hardened jihadis and iconoclastic imams, but also everyday adherents. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of what makes Salafis tick. You'll also learn how this important Islamic current is shaping the region's politics.